Welcome back, we're gunning to go and this live stream video we're off to... Destin, Florida. Destin, Florida to Henderson Beach, Beach State, State Park. Park. Yeah, which was amazing. Amazing, also insanely hard to get into. And in our true fashion, <laughs> we... We figured out why. We figured out why we got in without too much problems. And it's because a week or so prior, we were sitting in Alabama trying to get down somewhere to Florida and hey, look, this beautiful state park, this place is amazing. And it's got openings and it's the week after Labor Day. So that must be why. Ah, uh, no, it's because there was a hurricane in the forecast and I forgot to check the weather. We have a habit of doing that. We don't like to, to pay attention to news. It's all depressing and the weather can be as well. Fortunately, Unfortunately, we did get down there and we had a couple of amazing days of weather. We had another day maybe that we were supposed to be there and we had two days out at Grayton. Grayton Beach, yeah. Yeah, which is just down the road. We had to cancel those and instead head to Georgia. Which was fun too. Yeah, a hurricane was coming. It ended up being a category one. And I think by the time it hit, Right when it hit landfall, it went to a tropical storm, so it wasn't severe or anything, but nevertheless, they evacuated the park on the day that we were supposed to leave, so we had to scoot on out of there. Um, so it was a little bit of a bummer, but we got to enjoy this park, and it was amazing, and we will be going back to this park at some to... point book it a year in advance <laughs> yeah and or maybe i gotta get a name for myself with the florida state park system so i can get into hosting something i'd like to do um so anyway it was a it was a wonderful place to live stream i had a great time walking around with everybody and just showing them the beautiful beach white powdery sand mm -hmm. it's it's awesome i mean some of the best beaches in florida can be found right through from you know panama city all the way over to um, Orange Beach in Alabama. They're all amazing. That whole shot in there is really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend if you're looking for white sand beaches. Destin happens to be a great destination for families. Right across the street was a super Walmart. <laughs> yeah, very convenient. It was like beers. you left you left the state park intersection. At the state park was the driveway was at an intersection. If you went through the the light, you took a you, you were in a Walmart parking lot. Yeah. It was so nice and uh, you had everything you needed right there so highly recommend that 10 out of 10 will return again yes definitely well enjoy this footage of another great memory and our last of the live streams until we can start jumping into some new content without further ado let's jump in and check out that awesome live stream footage from destin florida at henderson beach state park All right, welcome everybody. Should be getting ready to go live. It's almost 2 p.m. here. Let me know if you guys can hear me good. Hopefully this mic is working. Just never know when the uh, Twitch app here is going to stop wanting to use the right microphone. Let me know if, uh, if you guys are there. We'll be going and getting started with our walk here in just a minute. Going down to the beach, check out the ocean checking out the campground and some little walkways and things around here and just doing some general chatting today something we haven't been able to do because we've been so busy at all these places when we've done our last two live streams all right macross how's it going we also uh we we had pretty good internet where we are um but today it's not been so great and i'm wondering if it's from all the beach traffic it's Saturday and there's a lot of people here and we might have some congested uh, networks right now. There's the ugly mug. We got the got the ugly mug and uh, wearing the uh, plain white tee. It is so hot. I just stepped out of the camper here a minute ago and uh, it's nice and air conditioned in there. And uh, stepped out of there and stepped into the furnace. It is hot outside. But it's the last nice day we're going to have, um, really, that we're going to have here. Uh, we got to get up early in the morning and head out because there is a tropical storm that they're expecting. It's, it's turned into a hurricane. And although it's not hitting Destin here, it's actually going to be coming quite close to it. And out of all the areas, uh, this is to the right of the storm, which they're talking about tornadoes. 
and they're also uh, talking seven to ten, seven, yeah, seven to ten or seven to eleven inches of rain. Uh, so a lot of rain, and you know, winds. Uh, the winds are going to be uh, twenty-five to forty, and then upwards to fifty. So uh, it's 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 definitely going to be getting uh, a little bit too close for comfort, and we gotta we gotta head out. Um, we were we were supposed to leave tomorrow anyways. We actually were supposed to originally leave today from here, and we got here the other day. We're just the first day. We're having so much fun. I checked, found another open site. Uh, actually, we had to move across the the way here. Um, we're in a different site than what we were in, and uh, we 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 moved, and then we couldn't get any more. Um, anything else booked here which ironically now we can people have been canceling already because of the storm and they're actually talking about evacuating this park uh probably tomorrow it would happen tomorrow and monday um but we uh ended up getting one like 30 minutes away um also at the beach in florida and got two nights there paid like 70 70 70 dollars uh 72 dollars uh for two nights you know after tax and fees and all the crap it was 30 bucks a night plus the taxes and all that other BS. And uh, long story short, we ended up uh, canceling that. Um, which is funny because the other day I looked at the weather. None of this was a thing. And then last night I looked at the weather and it was very much a thing. It was like, where did this come from? So this is not the first time this has happened to us down here either. Uh, we, we had this happen in 2005. We got caught up in one and, uh, there's some other attempts that I've been down to Florida and, and had to turn around and run back. So this is just another awesome, uh, uh, story, I guess. But yeah, so we'll be, um, we canceled the other park. We had to, we lost $24, you know, we've been eating in the RV, saving a lot of money. So Standing over here, there's lots of squirrels and lizards and things. There's been a lot of lizards running around here. If you stand still, uh, you'll see them running around. But anyway, um, so we lost $24, uh, but we're going to get out of here and uh, be safe and sound. Uh, heading to Georgia. We're going to Georgia. We weren't going to be going to Georgia. Now we're going to, going to Georgia. Um, so that's going to be the plan. I got to give a big thank you and some shout outs to a few people here going through the uh, chat. We got, of course, Macross. Todd, how's it going? Undertaker, it's good to see you as well. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, who else? Morgan, thank you so much for the sub. 35 months, he's been sending it from good old Denmark. Big shout out to Irish, Irish Kal, Kagal. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced that. I hope you're doing well. What is with the damn internet for me? I can't watch anything without loading. I don't know. It could be on my end too. Let me know if you guys are having problems. Nonstop Gamer, thank you so much for the uh, 54 months. Can't get rid of the guy. Holy cow, we're getting so close to the big big five year here pretty soon. A few more months. Um, we've got uh, we've got the Undertaker. Thank you so much for some uh, biddies in the cup. Uh, can't wait to get back home here and get the cup. Uh, which we'll talk about that here in a second as well. And uh, we've also got uh, big thank yous. Yes, Captain, how you doing? Hope you all are enjoying. We're enjoying very much our time here. And don't forget, there's some VODs from uh, Alligator Alley. Very cool. Alligator Alley uh, was awesome. Uh, I highly recommend checking out that VOD in our VOD section from the other day. And then we also took you on a tour of the Battleship Alabama, which was out in Mobile, Alabama. It was pretty cool. It was a really, really cool place. Uh, oh man, the sun is hot. Um, it was a really, really cool place to visit for sure. Um, so check that one out. That one got a little bit dickered because we ended up having, uh, it was a three part. I lost, there's lizards. I I'm gonna switch the camera here and we're gonna try to see if we can hold still and see some lizards. Um, the, uh, it got dickered because every time I went in the sub or the battleship, I lost signal. So it's a three part. Um, and it kind of turned out to be a, a, a SHIT show, a shice show, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get her next time. I'm going to do it with video. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for a few folks to show up. Everyone's getting the announcement, uh, send it out there on the Twitters, the Facebook, the MySpace. Let, let your folks know, Hey, you want to see somebody walking around the beach? 
uh, you know, we won't be going out on, I'll be going out to the beach, but I'm not going to walk around on the beach because I'm actually in my shoes right now. Yep. Wearing my shoes. Uh, and the reason being is if I wore flip flops, I was afraid you guys would be sitting here listening to all that racket of the, I didn't want to do, I think that'd be super annoying. So, uh, thank you. Uh, Rai Rai. Yes. The discords come and hang out in the discords. Heck yes. Um, anyway, cool plants. Gimbal's not liking it. Uh, shape up. Anyway, we'll come back and see some lizards. It's really cool. There's all these little lizards running around here. Um, great sights. Oh my god, this state park is amazing. They even give you a clothesline. And uh, this is this is what I wear when I go in the water. Um, you know, uh, this is uh, it's very nice. It gives me much comfort when I'm in the water. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they give you a really awesome sights here. Um, it's gravel, gives you a fire pit. Not many people using them, but there are a few because um, obviously it's hot. It's uh, over 100 and something heat index, uh, 95 degrees right now. And then, of course, you add in the mega humidity. It'll give you a really big picnic table. Um, this site is a lot closer to our neighbor. You can kind of see through the stuff there. Uh, then, then a lot of the sites, um, we've only been in this site today. I had to move this morning. Um, and they just, to give you a really nice, this is just insane. Um, all the sites have 50, 30, uh, 20 amp. So you got plenty of electricity and you also get water, no sewer, but water, which is awesome. My hose is all cold up there. I got to sort that out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not, not a lot of state parks do that, but I'm finding out down south, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, we got full hookups in Georgia to state park, 30 bucks a night. I think it's because they don't have to worry about the freezing quite as much. Um, so yeah, we were in that site across there for the last three days. And uh, that one that you're looking at right there, we were in that site for three days and we had to move this morning. Somebody else has that rented. But I'm thinking they're not going to show up. So I was home for three days and we had to come across the street. And I probably, I would have booked more if I could have got it the other day. But I checked this morning and there's tons of openings here now because everybody's seeing this storm coming in and they're canceling out. So anyway, uh, there's a tour of the campsite and uh, the big RV is sitting here. Um, one more thing before we go, I'm going to show you guys the damage that we took. I didn't get to show this the other day. Um, well, I still play farm sim. I will play it when I get back, I guess. It's been in the 30s this week. I know Minnesota, Wisconsin have been freezing. Hey, let me know if you guys hear this, hear me uh, blowing into the mic. Sorry if that was loud. I hope I didn't blow anybody's ears out. Do you guys hear that or not? Because I'm really questioning whether this uh, stream is using the right microphone or not. Hopefully that wasn't like ear rape city, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to continue on and we're going for the, okay. You heard that good. It is using the right mic. That's good because it's a little windy out on the beach and I didn't want you guys to get ear raped. Um, the steps, my stepdad, here's the story. We were parked pretty close to their garage. There was still plenty of room to get out. And my stepdad may not be, uh, I don't know, his words, you know, he uh, crashed his van a lot or something, but um, he backed out and backed into the stairs right hard. Boom. He hit it so hard. I had my jacks on my Legos. I call my Legos the plastic pads. I don't have them down right now because if it's raining, they collect water. Not that it's a big deal, but it's just one more thing when I'm trying to get out of here and, and uh, when a hurricane's moving in. So I didn't put them down today. I just set the jacks on the ground. But anyway, it actually slid us on our jacks over about a, about a foot or more. And I was in the mud. It slid everything about two feet, almost off the pads, and one direction in the front and the opposite direction in the back. These are the stairs that were over there. Um, and they were bent like completely sideways. And me and my wife bent them back, and then my brother-in-law came down to visit in Alabama last week. My, my sisters and brother-in-laws came down, and I had my brother-in-law, Ross, 
she he watches the stream so thank you again buddy he helped me uh he's a big old texan too so uh you know always wait for the big texan to show up but i had him help me and we kicked them as straight as we could and uh now i can fold them up uh kind of just kind of get them like that and you just give them a little and they fold up and uh so we switched them around and we don't use the bathroom stairs much in fact this is the first time we've used them because we're coming back a little sandy from the beach not bad there's showers but um we come back from the beach and we go right into the shower one by one not all at the same time and uh so anyway that's what happened and um it kind of sucked he felt terrible he's like oh, i'll pay whatever and i said don't worry about it um you know my mom and him had my back when I was younger, helped me out with some car payments when I was in school and was broke and helped me co-sign my first loan to help me with my credit. Uh, he did. My stepdad helped me with that and helped me get credit because I had nothing. And, um, you know, all these years later, I'm able to uh, have a great credit score. And so I'm so appreciative of that. So it's like I'm not taking his money, but it's $150 to get new steps and i'll i'm gonna i was gonna order some but the wait was too long so when i get home these will stay and uh i'll rip those off it's easy it's four bolts and replace them um i was showing you this here this was all crinkled up kind of see but this was smashed back to here i did scuff that i'll get those scuffs out but um i grabbed a piece of board and a hammer and i tapped all this out smooth as can be this was all crinkled up to about here so that's some good body work for you, but it's important to me to keep this thing in great shape because, because I want to be able to sell it and we are going to be doing that possibly next year, but I'm probably going to hang on to it one more year to save money, but we're going to be buying a big old fifth wheel. We've been online already looking and yes, folks, big blue, big blue is going to have to go too. Oh. We're going to get a bigger blue or bigger something. Uh, we'll probably end up with a F-350 or F-450 in a dually. Uh, I'm going to have to step up to a dually at some point, but not right away. We'll probably end up getting the fifth wheel. Uh, it'll That truck can pull it. It's just not going to be the most ideal thing. Um, you know, once we get the thing loaded down with a generator and all the other business, it's it's you're going to want a dually. So anyway, we'll talk about that more later if you guys want to know. Uh, lots of stuff's been changing, happening. It's been crazy. We're going to go for our walk here. <laughs> yeah, after all that fuss for the, for the truck, that, that was a lot of fuss for the truck. But the reason we bought that truck is because of we knew and this was the reason why we spent the money and went with the dually or with the diesel the resale value and we knew that we would go for a few years with that truck pulling that trailer because that truck is already overpowered for that trailer i don't even know the things behind me um but we knew that we would we would make out a lot better with uh resale and uh, we will not take much of a hit yeah so it was it was medium the last two days yep red so that's today rip current so anyway yeah it's gonna end up being uh but that's why we bought it we knew that it would pull what we have now it would pull a fifth wheel to allow us to purchase something get it home get it around but that before we would put a lot of weight uh loading it up with a lot of stuff you know putting the big generator uh, that they put in them in the uh what do you call that underneath you know uh they have the big generators built in before we had all that extra weight you know um traveled with full tanks or you know, even did some things like solar stuff on it or whatever, uh, washer and dryer, that we would, um, we would definitely, definitely 
be going to a dually because we would need it for that. And I know some of you are probably wondering, what in the heck are these folks doing? We'll talk about that in a minute too. Southern Magnolia, these things are all over the place. Uh, just a beautiful tree. We had these in Tennessee as well. But uh, that's these trees, you'll see them all over. The leaves are just thick, so thick. Love it. So we are talking about renting our house out next year or possibly just selling it. Because you're probably wondering, where do they get all that money to buy a fifth wheel like he's talking about? Well, we don't have a lot of money. <laughs> and so we're, we're talking about letting go of the house and uh, possibly moving a little bit quicker on the uh, building up north. This trip that we've been on this past couple of weeks has been in a mega eye-opener. And I mean huge. Like, God has just answered so many of my my prayers and my questions and and just things are flowing right now and uh, the cool thing is, is we aren't doing anything today or tomorrow or next week or next month there's a lizard right there we're going to have all winter to sit and think about eight months away maybe maybe five six months i can't get them on camera Here's some folks coming. Here's the saw pelam, pelamet, pelameto. Pretty neat plant right there. These things are all over the place too. Beautiful. Little lizard down there. I don't know where he ran off to. How you folks doing? Yep, don't see where he went, but he's, they're just, you hear them, they'll, they're actually pretty loud for a little lizard. They make all kinds of, that sound of the ducks, that, that was um, not the lizard, by the way, that was some flip-flops. Some folks walked by me here. These these plants are all over the place, so, so anyway, um, yeah, must have missed something you want to do in, in the future. Uh, we're talking about two years out, um, two years, two years. This uh, next year, we're going to go with what we got there. And because uh, we do need more space and we knew this. We knew that we would need something bigger when the kids start getting bigger. But we spent some time out on the road here the last couple of weeks. And uh, gosh, we've been gone. I don't even know how many weeks it's been. Has it been three weeks? Coming up to three weeks here in a couple of days. And we're still going to be out for a week and a half yet. Staying out a few extra days the sand pine there you go you can read about that florida small amount in southeast alabama yeah check these babies out i don't know to me it's uh i guess a little bit different from what we see but it is just another pine so we're heading to the beach right now if anybody's wondering this is the path that you walk on to get to the beach it's a beautiful path though so anyway, uh, yeah, it's been, we, we figured out a lot of things. Um, I've been talking to a ton of people on the road. I've had people approach me about some things and it was like, there's a little animal over here. You can hear it, I don't know what it is. There's a lot of squirrels and stuff too, but I've had, I mean, there's some bigger lizards, and they're harder to see, but there's definitely something crashing around right there. Should try to walk more quiet. You never know what I might see. I haven't seen any snakes out here. Bet you if you spend enough time, but... Yeah, as soon as I walk away, I can hear it crashing behind me again. Probably a squirrel. Squirrels are known to do that. They run to the other side of the tree when you get close, and they stay still until you walk away, and then they go out again. Live oak, oldest and most sturdy of Florida's trees, huh? Right there. Not too bad. Can read a little bit about that if you want to want to read it and you move it too quick. You can go back in the vod. I'll be going back in the vods when I get home. I'm gonna rewatch these because I'm even missing out on some stuff. 
But yeah, we've run into some people. We've had people approach us about some crazy things. Uh, it's like God put those people right there to like talk to me at that moment and answer some questions that I didn't even ask. Uh, but I wanted to know. And uh, so we've been checking out a lot of different opportunities that we could have for our family uh, next year and the years to come on the road. And um, a lot of, lot of things, a lot of things to talk about over time when we're back home playing some games. I don't know how to pronounce these here. Lichens, the light scally patch is on this tree. So I see these signs all over, but I don't quite, I guess it's that stuff, yeah. Yeah, Randy, I love that 450 or bus, by the way. I, I don't know. Um, if I went with the dually, I tell you, I'd be really tempted to go that route. And that's the other thing is we wouldn't be rushing out to get a truck either. Uh, we'd pick up the fifth wheel that we would need, and then we would uh, eventually find the, the, the right dually to, to, to pull it. Um, I don't know. Uh, should we go to the beach next, or should we go check out the other sites? I think I'm going to go check out the other sites. We'll do a walk around there. Uh, we already seen some live oak. That's live oak sign again. Some of these signs are repeat. We're going to go walk around the other part of the park. Then we'll go to the beach. We'll hang out there for a few. I am in shoes. So, sand pine again. Beautiful tree, though. We'll uh, hang out there for a little bit. Then we'll head back to our camper where we'll wrap things up today. And then I'm going to be getting our kids and heading to the beach for some swimming. Our last day of swimming, because tomorrow... We're going to get up at a little after daylight and get packed up and get out of here before that storm moves in. It's supposed to be here tomorrow night. And I want to be on the road by 8 to 9 a.m., no later than, preferably 8. Thank you so much, Greg, with uh, 10 months. Three months streak, 10 total. Do appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Oh, birdie. Such a beautiful walk, though. Yeah, F450 is better than the 350 for the wide track front end. Yep, yep, you've got a 7,000-pound uh, axle versus a 6 on the front, and it's a wider front axle so that you can get tighter turning. Uh, the problem with them is, is they're a little harder to find, and the other little issue, not a big one, but a little issue is this style of tire that the F450 takes is a commercial style tire there there's less options out there for that style of tire and i would want to make sure to well honestly if i went into a dually i probably wouldn't care a whole lot about i, I mean i would care but i wouldn't care care a lot about its winter capabilities and having a very aggressive tread on it because if i had one and I won't have a bigger fifth wheel or this truck unless if we got rid of our house because I can't even fit that in my garage and I can't fit a fifth wheel in my driveway. So those are big no-goes. I didn't ever walk on this path. Oh man, now it's raining, so I brought my hat. It's sunny but raining. Hopefully this fat cloud just gets out of here. Oh, big downpour. My, let's see. Okay, it's kind of quit. I was gonna say if it's gonna if it's gonna wash out for a minute, I'm gonna run back to that cover. I want to get my phone and my stuff all wet here. Oh, okay. Those are actually leading to some private sites, so I won't bother with that. Boop, booty, boop, booty, boop. It's Florida, right? Rains all the time. Every day, a little bit, little shower. Sunny out and it's raining. Yep, here comes the big one. Yeah. I'll just stand over here for a minute. Anybody need a defib? Okay. So back to what we were saying here. Um, we wouldn't have any of this with the place we have now and uh, if I got a much cheaper place, 
up in the north woods we would build a very small house building thing pole shed type thing and uh we've talked about this many times before we've been thinking about this for a long time already but we would uh i'd probably pick up a an older pickup or something to uh, beat around on the winter roads because you don't want to drive a dually on the on the snowy roads anyway if you can help it lots up here and it's commercial yeah 19.5 see what we have <laughs> oh geez yeah the f550 so anyway uh enough about all that lots more to talk about once we do get back home these are the bathrooms where i'm hanging out by the way in the laundry facility state park they come with two of these got the laundry miss g's at the other one over by our site and she's doing some laundry right now okay i think we're okay we'll walk around and little little shower past a little bit of rain road hardly got wet Brought, brought my hat just in case. I can feel like uh, my my legs right now. The the um, heat coming off this road. I literally feel like I'm standing in an oven. It is insane. Get you guys a better view. I just love going for walks when I'm at these different places and exploring, exploring little things, getting out, seeing what there is to see. RV parks are always my favorite because you can walk around and see so many different types of units. Holy smokes, that little bit of rain. It was already humid. Now the humidity just jumped up like a whole bunch. Yeah, that that's not where I want to go. I wanted to walk around their little uh, bit of campsites there, but that's not doing what I want there. I wouldn't mind doing these uh, campground hosting gigs at some point. I've talked to some folks about those. What a heck of a deal that is. This year would be a good year to probably scoop one up, but I'm not ready for that this, this winter. But uh, the Canadians are not going to be allowed into the country, so there's going to be a lot of vacancies for these hosting jobs. Um, the wife told me that maybe, um, maybe in like February we could find one somewhere. Apparently there's a huge vacancy usually in Texas. Texas has always got parks looking for people. Try to try to get you guys a little tour. So we're going to be hitting the beach right after we walk this loop. I'm not lost. This isn't this isn't our part of the campground. This is the other part. Handicap, if we got any handicap uh, folks, they got nice cement pad for you f-250 I get a lot of people asking me why did I buy a Ford my question is have you ever walked an RV park <laughs> have you ever tuned into an RV channel on YouTube once in a while you'll see something other than that pulling these rigs but there is a reason why chevy person like myself hands down went after one when you jump up into the uh three quarter and one ton i'd say 80 percent of the time you'll see it a ford pulling it when you see somebody that's really traveling I'm not saying they're the most popular trucks. I'm not saying that at all. There's a lot of Chevrolet and a lot of Ram trucks that you'll see, but they're usually the half-ton variety, uh, along with the F-150, uh, pulling the smaller units. But when you see the fifth wheelers, not always, but most of the time, 
not all the time. You'll see a you'll see the uh, F2 and F350. I don't usually see very many F450s because they're more rare. It's hard to the angle. I should have walked this backwards. What was I thinking? I'll walk backwards on ours. Then I won't be trying to turn around to show you guys all this stuff. See, silly me. I don't even know how to live stream a campground. I'm having to turn around every time because all these sites are angled so you can back in. We'll get it right on the other one. Used to be a Dodge fanboy until I drove a 6.7. Yeah, like I've always told people I'm not a fanboy unless if one of them wants to put me on their profit sharing, then I will definitely become a, their fanboy. But to me, I just buy what makes sense um, feature wise. And there's not a bad option out there when you're in the three quarter and one ton trucks. They both make some phenomenal, all three of them, but. I've just noticed that. I noticed it last year when, before we even purchased something. Look around on YouTube at what the other, all these channels are talking about, what they use. And then you go, and again, I'm not saying this is the same for the construction or people that are doing horse trailers or whatever. There may be better, you know, choices. People might like the Cummins and the Ram or whatever. Um... Or if they're farming, they might like their Chevrolet because the local Chevy lot takes care of their local farmers. Happens a lot. But when you look at the RVers who are scouring the country, in large part, they're in, an, in a super duty. Not always. Definitely plenty out there you see that are not, but it's just, it's really crazy. It stood out to us last year because we were trying not to look at the Ford. <laughs> we were like, well, we've always had the Chevrolet and liked it, but why are everybody buying the Super Duty? Then we started really looking at them and then you discover the reason. There's lots of little reasons. Okay. Heading out to the beach. This is going to be pretty. No bikes. Try not to breathe, but it's, I don't even know, 105. Oh, I left my Gatorade back on the table. Gosh, damn it. I was just thinking, I'm getting thirsty. Oh, we'll point that out too. Come off the boardwalk, which a lot of the sand will fall off and you dry. But you come back and they've got foot wash with the shower right here on the cement. Beautiful. So you get rid of all that sand before you even walk back to your RV. One of the things I like about RVing is how it's almost like you're part part of a private club so this area that we're in is only open for RVers you can't it's in a state park so you got to pay to get in when you pay for your campground that's covered but this isn't open to everybody and so you come to a state park you got to pay to get in most the the general crowd is restricted to a part about a mile away. You can see outside the state park, there's hotels, we'll see a lot more of that. A lot of helicopters uh, flying people around. But then we've got this area here that's all uh, for us. And it's really quiet. And the few people that there are, are generally a lot of older folks right now because a lot of the families with school kids have already returned home because of the school year. So you don't see a lot of kids, um, just a few you know, families here and there. So it's really nice, really quiet. And we're standing in front of Rosemary, the plant, not your grandmother. Um, this is an amazing plant. Love the, uh, the Rosemary essential oil. It's good for the lungs respiratory actually that right there uh the essential oil for rosemary i believe if you look it up would be a huge benefit if you had covid to help you with those covid symptoms and and i know i've looked this up already because I, I, there's a lot of essential oils that are good for respiratory but you'll never hear them talking about that on the news if you did get covid you could 
you could diffuse some essential oils that will have huge impacts. But of course, no, we don't talk about that. Anyway, a lot of it in here. Talk to a lady that uh, can't hear because of State Park, but other places she'll find it along the beach and she'll bring it back and she'll cook it. It's kind of neat. But there's the water out there. We're going to continue out that way. We'll see how the beach looks today with people. You got an RV or camper, so I'm, I'm in a travel trailer, by the way, right now. And hopefully a fifth wheel toy hauler in the future. Not hopefully, but we will at some point. We got some obstacles though first, we gotta get through. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna actually do with our house. Keep it, rent it, or sell it. Nature's pruning tools. Survival of plants growing on the sand dunes depends on their ability to adapt to the harsh conditions of extreme heat and drought. Wind and salt spray stunts the growth of trees such as the southern magnolia, splash, slash pine and oaks. Their trunks and branches often uh, appear twisted and gnarled. So it is, it's crazy because this is all natural here and you notice how we walk from trees to not and the reason there's no trees out here is because of the harsh conditions right out here. You know, just insane like that little difference and these sand dunes by the way they only exist in two states they're very rare in the world but they're two states in the whole united states that have these does anybody guess which states besides florida which is the other state that has these see if anybody knows that answer in a minute share the shore with the wildlife yeah, lots of wildlife here. Not seeing any sea turtles. There was some dolphins out here yesterday. And it is hot. I feel like I am now standing in the oven. Little crabs and stuff that come out of here. It's so bright out here. And of course, I didn't bring my sunglasses. It's so bright out here, I can hardly even see my, my Twitch uh, chat screen. Nobody has a guess on which states have sand dunes on the coast. Besides Florida, because I'm standing in one of the only ones. Um, and it's illegal, by the way, to walk on them. You're, nobody's allowed out there. Gulf Coast, Lupin. Okay, you guys can read about that. I'll probably come back in the VOD. And... Oh, we got both tour helicopters flying side by side there. Huh. I can't see my screen to see what I'm looking at. I'm just pointing the phone in the direction. It's so bright out here. Anybody that's from the north would um, understand what that's like when you're out in the sun when uh, there's white snow on the ground. It's kind of the same effect here. It is just friggin' bright. Or anybody that goes out on a lake. These sand dunes are amazing. Colorado, Minnesota. Yes, we got a, We got Randy. Randy looked it up. He Googled it. Oregon is the other place. The only other place. There's a board out there. Oh, we got some prickly pear cactus. You don't see a lot of cactus around here, but uh, there are some, and there's one right there. A couple of them down in there. I don't know if we got a sign for the cactus or not. No, the monarch migration. Monarch butterflies. Um, I noticed we had a lot of monarch butterflies at the end of August in Wisconsin. They were all over. And um, they were all over our yard. And I thought, man, they must be going to head south pretty soon. And uh, I'm assuming they probably did by now. I don't think they've probably made it down here yet. Oh, yeah, there is one right there on that cactus. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> There is one on the cactus down there. You just, I don't know if it'll even show up. I don't want to drop my stuff there. Oh, yeah, 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 there's one right there. Every day we've been out here. Come on, gimbal. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay, you guys can see that. I know you can. Gimbal don't like it when we... There's milkweed down there. Beautiful little butterfly. 
Maybe he started out in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I don't know. But every day we've been sitting here looking and there hadn't been nothing. I'm seeing a couple of them today. There's milkweed out there and we have milkweed up there too. I think ours looks a little different, a little bigger. Well, it definitely does, but um, yeah, they migrate all the way down to Mexico. That, that fella knew I was streaming because he was saying, how you doing everybody? Somebody else coming here. Um, I have not, today has been the only day, it's probably because of the weekend, today has been the only day that we have not had any fighter jets or military aircraft flying. Somebody lost their shorts. Oh no, bathing suit. I hate when that happens. Oh, Randy, you didn't. Okay, I apologize. So, um, <laughs> you're just smart. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Any good fishing today? Uh, okay. Nice. Feller pulling his fishing deal. Yeah, okay, smart Canadian, I apologize. Old US Highway 98. Okay, Gimbal, knock it off. Um, standing above the original US Highway 98, which ran along here until 1990, yeah, now there's a mega busy road, but you can see where the old highway went through right along the beach, which would have been a beautiful view, but would have totally ruined this beautiful sand dune area. I'll definitely be going back in the VOD to read all the, up on that too. Oh man, beautiful beaches today. There's a lot of folks out here. Uh, red flag, so knee deep is too deep is what they say. But uh, we're going to be coming out here. The other reason why we're not out here now is we've all gotten burnt kind of good. And uh, we're le letting the sun do its thing, uh, go out there when it's not quite so intense around 4, 5, 6 o'clock. It gets dark at 7 p.m. here. We are still in the central time zone. Uh, being that if we have to go like a half hour east or when we hit Georgia, then we'll be in eastern time zone. Now I'm wearing shoes. And... Uh, because I didn't want to have you guys listening to my annoying flip-flops on this walk. So I won't be walking around on the beach. And I also don't want to be walking around uh, disrespectful showing people in their bathing suits. I know you guys might want me to, to do that, but it uh, won't happen. Not today. But uh, the waters are emerald green, just white powder sand. beautiful out here. I'm going to stamp up back up on here. Even handicap accessible here. You got the wheelchair ramp. So we've been here for the last couple of days and we've had a lot of fun out here. Let me tell you, the kids, they just like, I don't want to go home. I told them maybe one day we can spend more time at a place like this. I am definitely going to be looking into some of those hosting opportunities. We will talk more about that later. Oh, you can see a chunk of the uh, asphalt or the old road. I'm so glad it's not there anymore. Just imagine how busy that would have been. I really like how we as humans have gotten smarter about you know, t getting rid of stuff like that, you know, moving the damn road away, because the road is not that far, like, from where we walked, we're another chunk like that of that kind of brushy wood stuff away from the actual highway, and the highway is two or three lanes, and it's just thousands of cars, it is nuts, it's absolute chaos, and then you step into this park, and you can see where the park goes, I mean, you can see the hotels down there, and you can see the hotels down there. Oh, we'll step down on the beach and this is the busiest I've seen the beach. Of course it is Friday. I'm not gonna walk a lot out here cause I've got my shoes on and I'm not filling them up, up with sand. People are probably like, look at that dummy wearing tennis shoes. But uh, I was talking about those military aircraft a minute ago and then I got distracted. But yeah, every day we've had 
I don't know, F-16s, F-22s, I don't know what they are from all the Air Force bases that have been down here doing their thing. Yeah, this is, oh my God, we haven't even seen people on the beach hardly the last couple days, but it's Saturday, so. Some planes flying along real low. But the state park part of it is so much more open. Now down there where you see all the people, that's where the public comes in and uses the state park. And then beyond that, it'd be even more busy with all of the hotels and everything. And then those beaches are just jam packed full. Um, but you can see, even on a Saturday, you can see how open the RV part of it is. $30 a night for the hookups, water and electricity. This is what RVing gets you. This is what staying in gross, I'm sorry, uh, COVID uh, rampant, no, I'm sorry, uh, staying in hotels. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about those hotels. But you'll be fighting the crowds. You come, if you have an RV, you pay 30 bucks a night for this and you have your own private section to park your vehicle to have your own picnic table campfire your own area you don't even get that in a hotel look at that plane is about to land out there so and folks i'm not trying to ignore chat is so bright out here my screen is just black i can barely make out that, that, that my stream is still going um there's so much brightness from the beach and the sun that it, my phone's like, hey, let's black the screen out. I don't know why. So in a minute here, when I get off of this, I'll be able to read chat. I can't even hardly see what it says. Oh, I can, okay, Mad Men. Here, I'll give you guys a, this is me right now. It's that bright. It's, it's pretty freaking bright. Okay, is it? Okay, now we're looking out the right. Mad Men, oh my God. My eyes are blinded. Oh. Mad Men, for the 65 months of dealing with this guy, I need a vacation. And what are you doing on a beach? You know that the sun is a basement dweller's biggest weakness. Yes. I know. So what do you guys think of RVing? And having these beaches? Now, again, I... And I took pictures. I, I sent you guys pictures the other day and the night. There was like six people on this whole beach during the day and at night, nobody. One or two people. Last night, there was nobody. It felt weird. There was a little bit of a storm moving and it never really did hit here. But I ended up, I, it just felt weird. I was like, we're all by ourselves out here. This feels really bizarre. It's kind of scary. <laughs> like literally you look in both directions and you cannot see another human while you're on the beach and it's just, I, I don't even know. I'm so grateful to have that opportunity to experience that. Cause you see on TV, the beaches are just packed. Not when you RV. Not that people can't come down here. These are not, this is not a private beach. It's just that nobody in their right mind is gonna walk miles through the sand or a mile or two from the hotels to come down here. Except me, I probably would. Not with kids though. But down there, boy, at the state park where the rest of the public goes, it's there's a lot of people. It, it's full. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, there's a lot of folks down there. And the, the hotels are just gonna be packed. And you pay about three to $500 a night for these hotels. A lot more than my $30 a night. And I got my own bathroom and all that stuff but again that's what you get when you spend the money to buy the rv or camper pop-up or whatever you have and when you end up um you know forking out the big dollars for the damn truck to pull it around okay i forgot to, to do this one thing i wanted to give you guys the opportunity I'm going back. I'll flip the mic around and give you guys the opportunity to hear the hear the beach and the waves. Uh, I'm going to go back. The wife should be done with the laundry. We're getting it done now because we're heading to Georgia tomorrow. 
will be up at FDR Franklin Delano Roosevelt's Little White House. Uh, the park up there where, where uh, Franklin Roosevelt went during World War II, where he died. We're going to be heading to that park in Georgia tomorrow. And we'll be staying there for only two days. And then we're heading back to Alabama for a couple days. And next weekend, we're turning and burning. Next Friday, we're turning and burning for Wisconsin. And the funny thing is, when we left, it was hot, like 90. Uh, it's like barely getting in the 40s and 50s. And we didn't bring pants or anything, so I guarantee we're going to have the heat cranked up in the truck. Be using those heated seats for the first time in that truck. And uh, it's going to be really bizarre because we, did, we didn't bring any warm clothes. <laughs> oh, we were not planning on being out more than two to three weeks, and now we're going to be out three and a half weeks or something like that. I definitely look weird in my shoes. Okay, I'm going to flip the mic around. Too much money in the hotel, Madman? I know. <laughs> you guys, you guys hear the waves? Sandals that go up through the water. Don't worry, folks. We gotta leave now. I'm going to be enjoying that in a little while with my family one more time tonight. But if you give me the opportunity, I'll get lots more of that to share in the years to come. I can uh, promise you that. Don't know when and where it'll be, but it looks like GG's going to be a whole lot more on the road. which will inevitably change our content. And yes, I full well know I'm gonna have to get a laptop. Gotta get a laptop. May drag a desktop with at some point, but not in the unit we have. I'll be uh, working on buying a laptop this winter, my camera equipment, and we're gonna focus on our YouTube content. Get some nice high quality videos. Helicopters landing. Oh man, you know, it's hot out here. When you stand on that sand, it's it, it goes from like you're in a freaking oven to like you just fell into a fire pit. Oh my God, so hot. <laughs> I wish that I had a thermometer down there. I'll bet you well past 110. This, the heat just radiates. And that's white sand. Imagine if it was brown sand like in Texas. All right. Um, ringing with sweat. And of course, my dumb ass forgot the Gatorade on the freaking bench back there. Cold Gatorade sitting on the picnic table. <sighs> no hydration. We'll swing by the campsite and grab it. And then we'll do the, the last loop some campers and uh we'll hang out for a minute chat and then wrap her up i don't know when and where i'll be going live again there's a small possibility that will next time it'll be at home in the studio playing some video games or um i'm hoping to get something from my mom's since we're going to be there for a few more days we can uh try to get those horses. She didn't want to be on camera, but I might might uh, do it anyway without her. It's so damn hot down here. I've even been drinking sweet tea and I didn't like sweet tea. 
sweet tea, that's what they call it. Been drinking sweet tea, holy buckets. I'm not a tea drinker, but that's it's been good. Okay, I can read again. It's, it's crazy. It's like, get around some, it's like the phone adjusts the screen again. Um, we'll have to get back to work. What, you're getting back to work on a Saturday, bud? I'm walking really fast to get back to the shade. <laughs> it's right up here. Whew. I'm glad I'm doing this stream, though, because I'm going to definitely download it and save it because uh, I'll be able to look back and remember my time here at this park. And I will be back. We will be back. And we just never know for how long when we do return. Okay. In the shade. <sighs> Not breathing hard. There's been, uh, I call it snow fence, but <laughs> I don't think that's for snow. They got some fencing up in there. I don't know why. I told the kids it's to keep the gators from attacking. They kind of, for some reason, they walk faster going through here. I don't know why. Um, what's up, Aaron? How you doing? Okay, I, I'm actually in the shade. And I don't have to, look, I don't have to anymore. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It's hot. It's hot. And uh, first time, first live stream that you guys have ever seen in six years. I've not been wearing a legendary shirt. I brought some, but I'm wearing a white t-shirt. I don't know if it's Fruit of Loom or Hanes. A white t-shirt. One size too small. Yep. I, I would have wore a wife beater type thing even, but I don't have any of those. I don't like them. Normally we don't need those in Wisconsin. But anyway, I've just been wearing a white t-shirt, which I wear these up north underneath all my shirts because they're just comfortable. And uh, it's, it's so hot here. You, if you're going to wear anything, and, and I have been running around with no shirt on. And uh, yeah, you guys can see uh, nice burns going on here. So I wore the white t-shirt today so that I wouldn't be having to get burnt anymore because I'm not wearing tan, suntan lotion or anything like that. <sighs> not wearing anything like that. Not yet. I'll be putting some of that on, but great place to stop in the shade here. Um, Randy's working every day. SnowRunner update went live the other day and uh, Twin Steer Western Star is fun. Yeah, they fixed it. Like they actually fixed it. That's awesome. That's really, uh, I knew that they, they, I heard that they were gonna do that. Here you go. See the dead kitty? Yeah, that's the microphone. Told my mom that I had a dead cat to put on the end of my mic, you know, and she just went like, she looked at me like this. And I was like, it's a microphone. It's not really a, so I, I had to show her. Maybe that's why she didn't want to stream. She thought he's going to live stream on my place and stick a dead cat on the end of his, his equipment. Uh, but we'll try to get them horses. Um, Cause I want to show all of you guys that those horses are not afraid of me. My mom's been calling me the horse whisperer. She said, it's just amazing how well he knows how to read those horses. I didn't know. I was just making observations about the horses. And uh, apparently she's like, it is amazing how well you can read those horses and what they're doing and thinking. So I've never, I don't know anything about that. But um, they, she's got one horse that three of the four have been abused. The fourth one is the son of one of them that got abused. She doesn't like men because only time any of them come around, well, they used, they used to beat on her. She rescues horses. Uh, Sahara is the horse's name. And uh, the only time men come around now, not to beat her, obviously, she's very well taken care of, is to give her shots, the vet, and to do her feet and all the other things that horses don't like, they're like us. They hate the doctor or the dentist and all that. So men come around to do that. And so she still doesn't like men. Um, and she was skittish of me the first day. 
because I am too a man. <laughs> I know what you guys are going to say. Well, it's because you're not a man. It's not true. It's not true. Um, she was skittish and shy, but uh, I warmed up to her, and uh, she was she was loving on me. She was loving on me. No problems whatsoever. Um, and my mom was so shocked by that. Uh, she was even at the first night we were there, she was saying, you know, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, have you guys not in the barn when I let him in because I don't know what they'll do. I mean, within a couple of days, by the time we left, uh, I was letting the horses in the barn and, and helping her with the stuff, and um, which is good. If something ever happened, my mom got sick or something, you know, you know, maybe I could get down to Alabama and help her because I, I, I know how much those horses mean to her. Um, but the horses were phenomenal around me. And the one, uh, Ringo, he's five, and when horses are five to six, it's when you start riding them. Uh, so because their bones are developed fully a lot of people ride them According to my mom a lot of people ride them when they're like two years old But it's really bad on them and it'll it'll cause them problems later in life, but Ringo is uh, five going on six um, And so next year she if she can get the money She would like to have him train for riding and I told her we're coming down in April of 2022 uh, because we're going to be going RV shopping down in Tampa. It's the world's largest RV place down there. It's like 13 acres of RVs, and they give you a golf cart to get around the joint. We're going to be coming down, and that's where we're going to start our shopping uh, to, so we can see every make and model in one place. And But I want to come down in April of 2022 because of Talladega. We want to go to Talladega, which is uh, 45 minutes from my mom's house, go to the race, but I want to ride Ringo. Uh, if he's trained. So um, I have not ridden in a, a big horse, uh, adult horse, in maybe forever. I don't know. I think in scouts we did, but they seemed like they were smaller. Um, yeah, one time in scouts, and I just, from what I remember, I was a little guy, uh, Cub Scouts, and uh, I think, I just think, I feel like the horse was small, you know, so, because I think if a little kid was on a horse, you'd, you'd know you're riding like a building around. And I don't remember it being like that. Um, so anyway, I'd love to go riding and maybe I'll end up getting hurt. I don't know, but you guys will like that either way uh, either way, so um, Let's get to some chatting. I know um, He's a horse whisperer in Red Dead and look <laughs> I'll tell you when I get home I tell you I'm gonna be I am gonna be coming at you all like a damn spider monkey all jacked up on Mountain Dew because of the way you've been talking that's for damn sure just because I left for a couple of weeks doesn't mean that you guys need to come at me like that with uh, three weeks worth of uh, energy okay we need to calm it we need to take it down a couple notches here all right horses like me I can't help it I'm just natural I guess and I'm probably going to end up getting kicked this coming week. I did fix the electric fence, and I only got shocked about eight times. Uh, two or three of the times was at 2,000, uh, 2000 watts or whatever, volt watts, volt mega gigawatts. Uh, and the other times was at 7,000. That hurt like hell. That was not fun. Um, yeah, it was not fun, but I survived. And I fixed my mom's fence. She was so grateful. I fixed, I did a bunch of work to it. I never worked on electric fence, but I got it fixed. I got it working from 2000 to 7,000 like it's supposed to be. And we fixed some other problem areas and uh, found some other things uh, for her to work out later on. So it was fun. I was a very happy son to go to my mom's that I haven't seen in over half a decade. I haven't seen her. And uh, I haven't been to this place before. And it was very nice to go there and actually spend the time with her and um, be out in the field and doing stuff to horses and things like that. So we're, we were going to be back there tonight originally and then leaving tomorrow to head back home. But we decided to stay around here. Now we got to go to Georgia. But uh, we're going to be going back there Tuesday night, hanging out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning. We're packing up. As soon as the wife's done with work, boom, we're hitting the highway. I'll be somewhere in Tennessee, Kentucky, um, somewhere in there and uh, catching some sleep and then Indiana I'm going to take a different way on the way home a little bit longer but something different uh, going through Indiana on uh, Saturday Saturday yep Saturday Saturday night hoping to make it to Illinois southern Wisconsin somewhere in there and then Sunday morning baby we'll get home right about lunchtime if everything goes well Sunday and I don't know if I'll be streaming 
this is not this weekend, but next week. I don't know if I'll be streaming Sunday already. Um, I just have to imagine getting home after being gone for nearly a month. I can't believe that. But there's a reason we stayed out here for a month. I think you guys kind of figured that out. Uh, we'll talk more about it. <laughs> this was this is what we call a test or a taste of what we hope things to come are like, with the exception of me working. I've got a I got to do that. Um, I don't have the equipment to do that now, but uh, we go out on the road longer. I'll have the equipment to do what I need to do, and I'll be working on that this winter. Um, let's flip back to the other camera here because I know you're tired of looking at my dumb ass. Um, sorry for the language. This is like a little, uh, we call it the church. There's little speakers and uh, it's a screen, a podium. They call it the campfire in the woods or something like that. And I guess it's a place to, you know, maybe scouts or something come. They do like a little, whatever you want to call it, sitting around chit chatting. And there's a fire pit up there. We we're standing next to that as well. Pretty awesome. All right. Let's head back. We're going to do a, one last little tour. Let's had some folks go by on the bicycles. Oh, Dan Berger. Fifth, 43 months in a row. Sitting at work watching. What a perfect Saturday. Awesome. Glad we got some of our Euros from the good old country of Norway on the other side of the world. Not quite, but close. We're uh, down here in Florida. And I'll tell you what, I've always loved Florida. Love it, love it, love it. And, oh man, I just, I love it up north. I love the south. Love it up north. Love it out west. Just love this country. And that's why being an RVer gives me the opportunity to practically live in some of these places. Like we've been living in the south for the better part of the last month. And I miss that. I haven't had that since we moved in January of 2014. I have not returned to the South. And man, was that long overdue. Whew. It's hot. Yes, very classy, Dan Berger. And thank you so much for getting some sub buses rolling. Some people at work today. Some people on the go maybe watching. Saturdays are never a good a great day for us to live stream because so many people in our community are out and busy but I wanted to get this one in I hear hear a washer and dryer going so maybe the wife is still doing some laundry she was going to do that while we uh, got ourselves uh, streaming time done smelling a campfire I have not smelt a campfire since we've been here over the last four days. As you can imagine, it's a hundred something out heat index. Fires aren't that appealing. <laughs> Either in the water or in your RV in the AC. There's big blue. I'm going to grab my Gatorade and we're going to walk backwards around here so that we can stare, stare in the sights. I love to do that. It's one of my favorite things. Just look at all, everyone else's uh, unit. <laughs> Said unit. Oh, there's the people that had our site. They're backing in. They had that reservation because that's why we had to move. They probably had those reservations for a very long time. Hey, who took my Gatorade? Did you drink my Gatorade? No. Huh? No. Yes. Where's I left that? it right here on the table. What are you doing? Are you playing with the lizards? Okay. Austin's going to have a birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to wake him up singing happy birthday. So he'll be uh, turning six tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be turning eight tomorrow. Holy cow, they curl up so fast. Having a birthday on the road. Give me a second here. Hey, somebody take my Gatorade? No, I brought it in. Sweet. I am so gonna give me some of that. And then we're gonna go walk one more little lap. 
Time to get back to work. Have a nice day. Thank you, Dan Burger, again. Oh, it's warm. Oh, well, it's liquid. All right. Okay. I don't know. We'll stare at Alex for a minute. Dad's going to drink his Gatorade. What's on your mind, Alex? Big blue in the camper, what? A hot pop. I want to tell what my team will do. Hey, Dad, you know this storm falling? Okay. Hey, Dad. What? You know this storm falling you now? Because it's not this year, not me, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. Yep, we're going to have a storm. There's Ashton. There's Kate. There's Kappa Kid. Kappa Kid. <laughs> oh, what a goof. All right. I'm going to uh, take a little walk around. Get my stuff adjusted here. <clears throat> We got them a little in unit. That's a nice, nice rig right there. I love those little class, not little, but the class C's. They're so nice. Oh, here comes a super duty. Sounds like somebody's doing some roofing over there. They're building a building. Alex has got, you know what's funny? I kid you not, we've been joking that Alex has gotten big since we left. She brought clothes that he fit into when we left that he's not fitting into now. He literally has clothes with that fit him when we left and do not fit him now. And it's not because we put them in a dryer at too hot a heat little pull through site pull your motor home in back there a couple of these sites are empty Illinois Columbus 1492 <laughs> that's hilarious I love it you guys get it Columbus 14 okay I hope so wonder if uh, they're gonna have to tear down their camper because that's offensive now to somebody so offensive. So much offense. Oh, goodness sakes, folks. Just had a bird come flying out at me. Nice little unit. Here's a handicap site. Empty. I. These were all booked. 100% booked. And uh, a lot of folks... I think have canceled because of the uh, storm coming in. Like a dead tree. I was wondering what all that was. But anyways, um, not much. There's uh, four loops like what we walked around. There's four of those loops. And I am beat tired. Not not like my body, but my feet. It, it's like I've been standing on hot coals. And uh, time to go back and get rid of these shoes and switch them out for some sandals and head down to the water here shortly. Now that the sun is a little less intense, I just don't want the kids getting burned really bad because then we're all having a miserable time. But we're trying to dance between the sun and uh, all the storms that are in the area. And let me tell you what, there are some storms. Lots of storms. All right. Back at our campsite. Just love the foliage that, and I guess a lot of this stuff will bloom. Get a lot of blooming. And there's Alex again. Mr. Big Man.
What do you think, Ashton? <laughs> he doesn't like to be on the camera. <laughs> well, there's Kappa Ki Ashton, can we see your pretty face? <laughs> Why is he all shy now? I don't know either. Gimbal's not happy. All right, folks. It is going to be that time. It is super friggin' hot down there at the beach. Um, not even sure what time is it. Is it four? I, think so, yeah. I was I was down there. I walked in the sand. It was like standing in a brick oven. It was it was pretty insane. Pretty hot. So. Um. All right, everybody. Yeah, enjoy the time with family. Um, time to go tow some crap. Well, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, we got to put the awning in tonight. Uh, they said don't leave your awnings out because that storm, I don't think it'll be coming tonight, but when it kicks up tomorrow, you don't want that. So I don't know when we'll be tuning in next with with everybody. Um, possibly will be from Georgia. I uh, guess that would be Monday. I just don't know because we're not going to be there very long. We weren't. It wasn't where we were, well, none of these places were planned. We just kind of been winging it. But this is like, we don't know how much time we're going to have. There's a lot of trails and nature walking stuff, so maybe, uh, maybe Monday. Um, and then hopefully some point Tuesday we'll be driving again. Maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday uh, from my mom's place uh, and show the horses and things like that, just hanging out with the horses. And then um, probably wouldn't be a very long stream or anything like that. And then uh, Friday... We're back on the road for a couple of days of driving until we get back to cold and hopefully not snowy, but uh, almost frozen. They've had frost advisory, Wisconsin. Um, and then we're back at it again. Uh, crazy, uh, just bought Doom 1, 2, 3, and 64. Jeez, some good ones there. I think I got them. Got a couple of them. Good games, though. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you missed the beginning of this VOD, I highly encourage you to go back and watch it. It's well worth it. Uh, it's fun little time running through the beach and checking out some cool Florida stuff. Um, all we've been doing was hanging out at the beach here, so that's why I didn't do any other streams from anywhere else. Um, check out the Alligator Alley, which was only an hour from here in Alabama, very southern tip of Alabama down by Mobile. Uh, we did that. That was an awesome live stream, very educational and fun uh, looking at all the alligators. So highly encourage you guys to check that VOD out. If you check out any, check that one out. And uh, you can also check out the Alabama, the battleship and the USS Drum, the submarine. Live stream wasn't, you know, cause we lost reception inside, but I'll, I will have about a hundred pictures to share of the inside of the battleship. I'm going to wait till I get home because it just takes too long to upload all that from mobile. So when I get back in about a week or so, I will upload, I'll probably create a channel in our Discord called the USS Alabama, and I'll keep it up for a week or whatever, but I'll just stick all those pictures in there, and then you guys can go check them out, and then I'll delete the channel later. So um, go check that out, and I appreciate all the support, everybody that's been hitting the sub button, helping, helping out big time, uh, taking a little time off, and you guys are still uh, maintaining those subs. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And I look forward to getting back home and in the studio and uh, sharing all kinds of other awesome stories and other good times. Have a good day, everybody. We will see you back here maybe in a few days and uh, maybe from the great state of Georgia. So... Have a good rest of your Saturday, and everybody take care. All right, well, we hope you all enjoyed that footage. It was a great time, amazing weather, and I would say the park itself wasn't too crowded, but that was probably because of the incoming weather. It was really fun, though. We had a good time, and we are so excited to finally have these live streams of our 2019 and 2020 adventures done. And now we're gonna move into some little bit different content here. This will be some of the early 21 as we start getting ready to really take our first big trip. We call it the big trip because it was six weeks that we were gone, six to seven weeks, when we had basically right back down to Florida, but we went out to Texas and drove all along the Gulf 
and I think we did 5,000 miles yeah, on that trip. So that's going to be season one. That's that's coming up. But before that, we had a bunch of upgrades to do on our rig, and we're going to start covering some of those. So those videos will be a little bit different. They'll be shorter, and they'll be just talking about some upgrades, but important videos because I'm going to be sending people to the channel when they have questions about these upgrades. So I want them on the channel as well. That's all coming up next. So make sure you hit the sub and the notifications on this channel so you know when we put out that next video as well as helping us inch our way closer to getting the ability to live stream on this channel unlocked. Cannot wait for that. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you later. Bye. Take care.